Hello, Francesca Rigucci here, owner of Francesca Rigucci Marketing. Today on the Current State of Communicate, I have Rafe Choro with me. And before we get started, you know what time it is. It's time to talk about all things social media, Alexa, and augmented reality. So I'm going to let Rafe introduce himself. Hey guys, Rafe Sheru here. I run a TV, sh a social media TV show called 60 Second Real Estate, where we kind of just have some fun with the real estate video on while we're shooting, you know, real video walkthroughs that help people sell their houses. We have some fun and we make some interesting, silly content called 60 Second Real Estate. So one of the unique things I saw about Rafe online, I've probably been following him on Instagram for about a year now, and just really Thank unique. You humorous, one-of-a-kind videos, and I'm not just saying that to flatter him, but I really have seen some of him where he's in a bathtub, and he's just really um, a funny, genuine type of person, and I want to ask you, yeah. why 60 Second Real Estate in such a humorous format like that? Well, the main reason is I felt that the serious walkthrough was being done to death, right. and the concept of the humorous actually just came from outtakes of doing a real video because in between takes of doing a serious video and talking about the great granite countertops or the awesome appliances, I'd just be dancing to some music in between and just to keep my energy up, right? Because the film, when you're filming, you just want to keep your energy up to be crazy high and it's difficult. So I started doing silly stuff and in the editing process, we found that there was its own content in the outtakes, right? So through a mistake, um, great things were created, and that was the essence of 60 Second Real Estate, and it's just grown from there. Right, yeah, I understand exactly what you're saying. Like In the real estate market, there's so many people out there doing videos. Absolutely. Hi, it's my walkthrough, you know, but with you, I feel the energy right through my phone, right? Because today we're looking on our phones, yeah. and you actually want to be there. You actually want to get the buyer into your property for that yeah. seller. Does your seller like that you do these types of videos? Is that oh, something? absolutely. Yeah. So, so when I'm doing the listing presentation, I show them the serious video of, you know, the standard walkthrough. You want to make sure you get that one really down to a science. You know, the full walkthrough that has the, the panning shots of the right. kitchen, the close-up shots of the countertops, the one that everyone loves to see on HGTV, Bravo, everything like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I also, they, I get a lot of referrals from my TV show style, the outtakes, just because it shows that I'm a human and it's just fun and in the end it reminds them I sell real estate and at the end of the day that's what our marketing's doing right exactly yeah. because we're all on social media right now we're on Facebook live on our phone and we really just have uh, this first time in a lifetime way to communicate with people on such a direct level yeah and you get the feedback right away I'm sure when you're Facebook live or as soon as you put an yeah. Instagram you get all the messages saying yeah. whether people like it or exactly not. that's and that's the best part is interacting with people and the people leaving the comments and even the best is people coming up to you in person saying oh my god that video was just so great you know that you left an impact with them and yes it's not it's not a building you know it's doing different things it's not necessarily selling right. that exact house but I have the video for that, and this is to build my brand at the same time. And it's a great use of time, because technically I'm shooting three, four pieces of content in like two hours. You know, I'm planning to make multiple pieces of content, because we have to be there shooting anyway. So we might as well, you know, get the biggest bang for your buck, since I hire a filmographer and everything like that. That's great. That's a great way to go. Yeah. Now, he's oozing personality right next to me, everyone. So yeah. this is definitely someone who's believable. Just from standing right next to him, I can feel that. I appreciate He that. has a presence on camera. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and he's going to sell the property. Now, one thing I want to know, since we, we live in a society where, you know, people want that link right in the bio on Instagram. Mm -hmm. They don't want to click twice in order to right. get to a service. Do you feel that you doing your real estate videos helps more qualified buyers go into a house? Oh, absolutely, especially in a city setting where you have people from other other countries, other right. cities, especially Philly, you have New Yorkers, D.C. people coming to these high-end units. Them having a physical, just having a video of, of a human walking through a house gives a better frame of reference, just like staging would, yeah. and it gives you a better feel for how the property flows, that pictures just can never do justice. And the you know Matterport, while it's really cool, you know, once again you have you have to click through and you have to do a bunch of exactly. stuff. Videos can just be so much or so much more accessible. You know, you can you can hotlink Facebook and YouTube videos all over the internet onto your different pages. 
and it really helps, you know, yeah, definitely brings another level on top of your marketing strategy, especially when you're doing with high-end you know, high properties where people from out of state have a high possibility of coming in. Right, and yeah. um, what zip codes do you typically sell? Um, so 19103 is where our office is, which is Rittenhouse, and okay. that's the, one of the best areas for these kinds of videos because you do have those high-end buyers. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, properties in Queen Village and Old City just look so awesome on film that they're some of my favorite to film. And um, and then, then the new construction, when they do something that's a little bit out of the ordinary, you know, it's not the same house you've seen a million times, which sometimes those are great but it's really difficult to make interesting content using those videos. So it's the, it's the, it's the developers that take risks. That's when right. the videos on theirs really shine. The ones that make those grandiose bathrooms with the awesome deep, deep tubs, you know, those on film just look amazing. Right. Does that answer your question? Yeah, oh, right. definitely it does, because they're so different. And from being in different neighborhoods like Fishtown, Point Breeze, you tend to see the same type of layout in the yeah. front, the same right. finishes in the cabinets and the countertops. Right. So knowing that you're in properties that are a bit different in Rittenhouse Square, mm -hmm. which is so desirable in the city. I mean, we're right near the park, and you just know yeah. how to sell it all. Right. One thing that's key to what you do on video is, is brand. Okay, so brand is when is logos, fonts, and colors, yes. And it's also your sense of style and personality. Yeah. Every time I've seen a video by you, you've been in a colorful suit. Of course. So do but you plain colors. Plain colors. Yeah. Exactly. No patterns, just plain right. solid colors like this one today. Yeah. Do you find that you've like planned to be in a suit or a specific outfit, or has this just come natural to you? It's funny you ask that because I almost made a spreadsheet of the outfits I've worn in videos because okay. <laughs> I want I just always want to vary it up. And right. that's not to say you can't like you could do the same you know blue suit white shirt every time. And honestly, if especially if you're a guy, unfortunately, people probably <laughs> won't notice. Right. Um, but it's. For me, I enjoy dressing nice, so um, it, it just another way to cr bring my energy level up. So in the newest video, I am actually we recorded twice, and I brought a red okay. suit and a blue suit, and we had different segments in the different suits, and it, just spicing it up and, and doing that it makes me more comfortable in front of the camera. I guess right. is the real reason is I feel more comfortable in the clothes I'm wearing, which is why I do that. Um, you don't have it's, it. I would say being on, do, getting it done, and being on film is more important than worry, worrying about what you're wearing. Right. Um, however, I do end up sweating a lot, so I always have to dab my forehead a lot because I worry, That's like my biggest thing. Okay. Because I refuse to wear any makeup. Uh, that's okay. You like it natural. That's okay. Yeah. The one thing, the reason why I was pointing out the suit is because, and this is like what I've noticed as well. If you wear like the same type of outfit, like you're wearing a suit that fits you correctly, it's tailored nicely and it's fitted to you. Right. I notice when men are just like wearing, a, the suit wears them versus the man wears the oh, suit. Oh, absolutely. So you're the man who wears the suit. Okay. And that's why I pointed that out specifically. Okay. Yeah. And you'll notice, like, as you start doing more and more videos, people will recognize you because you have a specific, you know, blazer yeah. on or you wear a pocket square. Yeah, I actually tend to dress down a little bit in my videos okay. and just do just the button down to be a little bit more approachable right. um, and not be so stuffy for that same reason. Okay. And of course, it's easier to just keep buying new sh button down shirts and being and and being having variety. Is that what I'm looking for? Right. Then like buying a new that's just not going to happen, right? And um, and that's kind of how I feel about that. I mean, it's more about just what you feel comfortable in. If you're going to feel comfortable and powerful, just like in a listing presentation. That's what you should be going to the video with because it's going to make your content. If you feel better, it comes across it behind the camera. Right. So I'm a buyer. Let's pretend I'm or I'm a seller. Okay. Right. I'm a seller. I'm looking for a realtor who's upfront on what's going on in 2018 when it comes to video. So what are the questions that I should ask you as a seller to their realtor? Is there anything particular that you kind of get as a frequently asked question by someone? I just ask when the video is going to be done. So I always say, you know, let's, especially if it's an occupied house, I want right. to say, you know, let's get the house clean and staged and looking great for just this one day. You know, let's get right. the photos done on this day. Let's get the videos done on this day. And then, you know, we're going to keep the house in great and upkeep, but it doesn't have to be as immaculate as in that one day of photos and videos. And that also, a lot of the times I do videos during my open house, so I can okay. get shots of people, of other people walking through with their permission, of course. Um, and that's just another way that I save time. You know, I'll, if it's a busy open house, sometimes it can be tough. But 
I'll do a video when we're shooting photos for the original listing, and then I'll sometimes shoot another video with the personality, those silly videos during an open house. Um, just because okay. I'm, I'm there, and sometimes, you know, you have a couple hours, you have an hour to kill, exactly. and that's what I do at that time. You know, the best part is when you said you film people walking into the property. Yeah. You're showing that proof to your audience as well as your client that, hey, people were in this property, this is how they were looking, right. and it really makes you a bit more credible as Absolutely. a builder as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out about your videos, okay, so, and you'll have to go into detail about this, the editing is so meticulous in such a gay way because it feels like a sci-fi or some type of different genre video where you are sitting on one couch and then you are sitting on another couch as well as like a double version of yourself. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I actually, there's a couple other agents uh, nationally that do do silly videos like me okay. and we definitely play off each other for inspiration um, and that's kind of, it just comes out of nowhere basically. Uh, we would just start shooting with an idea in mind and then the creative process just takes hold and we have an idea and we just say let's try it. And I'm lucky enough to have great editor, his name is Mike, and he helps me create some of the best content. You know, sometimes I just show up with footage that he had no idea we shot, and then he makes a great video out of it. And I know I'm super lucky to have that. Um, I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure that people just starting out, if they, you know, look on things like Fiverr or throw out a Facebook post, you know, just anyone know an editor, you know, or, I mean, if you're lucky enough to live in a college town that has some kind of TV or movie, you know, majors, you can pay someone, you know, some money, some beer money, and get some great content. Um, and that definitely brings my videos up to the next level, absolutely. Like, I'm so lucky to have that. Yeah, it's definitely shine through, especially on Instagram. Instagram is no amateur hour anymore. It's, right. it's all about really being professional, having everything clean and polished. So and true. The fact that you have a videographer like Mike is really uh, just telling to who you are as right. a realtor. So we have a videographer who's um, okay. my buddy Sam Rossi, and he he'll, he'll come with me on all those shoots. Um, and then I also have my ed so I have two people, so the okay. team is three people. And you know, hopefully, we'll just continue to expand that. That's right. Yeah. Maybe you'll see Rafe somewhere in the city in Rand House Square with his team. Yeah. So you'll have to say hi and let him know that you saw this video. Please do. Okay, so is there anything that you're promoting right now that you want us to take a look at? I mean, if you want to see my videos, you can just you literally just Google 60 Second Real Estate, and I'm pretty sure I come up. Uh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you do come up. Sweet. Um, and then from there, you can see some of my other YouTube videos. Um, to see, see what, how powerful video is, we end up usually naming YouTube videos by the address, and those will have so much Google juice, if you will, because That's of right. course YouTube owns Google, that those will so, show up in the, in the top level searches, sometimes beating out Hot Pads and Trulia and Zillow sometimes because they like showing video, because it's great content. And while I can't say I've gotten a direct buyer from those videos, in a listing presentation, it looks amazing to have just like gotten first page of Google on a property. That's right. Um, but it also just creates um, a great marketing piece for the you know potential buyers that do eventually buy your property. Right. And where are we able to find you on social media? Um, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. Those are definitely my most active places. Um, I post all my content to Facebook, so that's the great best place to find me. Um, my name's a little weird to spell, but I'll believe it in the comments underneath this video. And so if you'd like to follow me or be my friend, please join me. It'd be great. Rafe's business page is actually tagged, so already taken ah, care of. Perfect. <laughs> so go over and follow me on Facebook. Thank you so much, Rafe, for yeah, your time. Yes, it was a pleasure. I appreciate Absolutely. this Thank conversation. You. And thanks to all your followers. Take care. Bye.